Hey Kids Church, um, welcome to Kids Corner. And so this week we've got a story, I uh, always do, but before we get to the story, uh, I've got a quiz for you. Okay, I'm going to show you a picture and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, reveal the picture bit by bit and I'm going to give you some clues as to who the person is. Okay, and I want you to shout out who you think it is when you guess it. Okay, see if you get it after one clue, two clues, three clues, or four clues, or when all the pieces of paper have gone. Okay, do you reckon you could do it? Excellent. Here we go. Okay, so person one. This person is a superhero. Okay, I'm going to take and pay away a piece. Uh, this bit. Okay, he is strong, he's fast, and kind. Take another bit. Shout out, you know who it is. He cares about his family. He stops bad guys from committing crimes. He saves his city time after time from evil supervillains and their doomsday weapons. You got it? And the answer, of course, is Spider-Man. So, person number one. Moving on to person number two. Do you like how high-tech we've got at Kids Church? So, person number two. Now, this person, on the other hand, is a criminal. Okay? This person is a danger to the public. Okay, this person is careless, arrogant, and thinks only of himself. He destroys public property all the time. Share when you've got it. And this person hides their real identity so the police can't arrest him for all the harm that he does. What do you think? The answer is Spider-Man. Well done if you guessed it. Okay, are you ready for person number three? And we shift over. Here we go, right. So person number three, this person is a normal college student. He works hard and he gets good results in his tests. This person lives with his aunt and looks after her. This person has a part-time job delivering pizzas to make some extra money. This person is Spider-Man. There you go, person one. Person two and person three. They're all Spider-Man. So we have the same person, but three really different descriptions. And actually, um, I don't know if you know the story of Spider-Man, but um, Peter Parker, uh, who is Spider-Man, he works at a newspaper. And the guy who runs the newspaper hates Spider-Man. And every episode of the program or throughout the films um i think it's jonas jameson he's always shouting about spider-man's a criminal he's a thief he's a menace and he he hates spider-man and actually aunt may who peter parker lives with has no idea that her nephew peter is spider-man he's just a, a kid who goes to college he's just someone who works hard gets good grades and looks after her he, you know he delivers pizzas to make some money but of course, we know that Spider-Man's a hero. Spider-Man saves the day. Spider-Man uh, defeats the bad guys time after time after time. Three descriptions. One person. But all really, really different. Now, in our story today, uh, the disciples were chatting to Jesus. Uh, and so Jesus, at various points, just stops and he chats to them. And so I'm going to read 
uh, the passage here. It says, when Jesus arrived in the villages of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, what are people saying about who the Son of Man is? They replied, some think he's John the Baptist. Some say Elijah. Some Jeremiah, one of the other prophets. Jesus pressed them, and how about you? Who do you say I am? Simon Peter said, you're the Christ, the Messiah, the son of the living God. And Jesus said, God bless you, Simon, son of Jonah. You didn't get that answer out of books or from teachers. My father in heaven, God himself, let you in on this secret of who I really am. And now I'm going to tell you who you are, really are. You are Peter, a rock. This is the rock in which I'll put together my church, a church so expansive with energy that not even the gates of hell will be able to keep it out. So Jesus literally says to his disciples, so what are people saying about me? And there, there are lots of different answers. And actually, if you'd ask the Pharisees, if you'd ask the people in the temple, they'd have said, Ada, he, he's a, a troublemaker. He's a problem. He's a, he's a, ah, oh, he's, he, he's someone who's going to bring down uh, the Roman soldiers to have a go at all of us because of the problems that he's making. Different views of one person. But it feels like Jesus isn't that bothered about what people think of him. What bothers him is what do his friends think of him? Who do they say that Jesus is? And Simon Peter just blurts out, you're the son of God. You're the Messiah, the one that God has sent to save us. And he goes, bless you. Peter, that is an answer that has come from God to you. Bless you. And he talks about Peter being uh, one of the founding stones of the church. that He was going to build the church that we're part of today. But I wanted to look at this story as a kid's church because it's a really important question. Who is Jesus? Now, the truth is, lots of people have lots of different views about who Jesus is. Some people say that, well, he was a good teacher. He was a good man uh, who said some good things. Uh, other people say, well, Jesus was a rebel. Uh, he was someone who uh, opposed the authorities and he stood up for little people. And we should all stand up for people like Jesus did. Uh, and yet, for us in church, Jesus is God. But actually, for me, Jesus is God, but Jesus is my friend. Jesus is the person that I talk to uh, when I'm worried. Jesus is the person that I talk to when uh, I need help. Jesus is the person um, that I want to be more like. Now, there are lots of people in your lives and they will have different ideas about who Jesus is. So actually, I've got a mission for you this week. Kids Church, go ask people, who is Jesus? Ask your parents, ask family friends, ask people you know from church. Get the different answers, but then you, you read the Bible stories that you've got in your house. You talk to Jesus yourself, because that ultimately what's important, who do you say Jesus is? Jesus for you. And Jesus wants you to know him. So you need to be able to answer that question. Who do you say that I am? Like every week, uh, I'm going to pray. So please do get how you're comfortable to pray. Uh, close your eyes, sit comfortably, uh, and let's talk to Jesus together. Lord Jesus, thank you for your kindness in that you let us know you, even though you are God. You give us and your friends permission to think different things about you, to come to different conclusions, to be wrong about you, uh, and to learn more about you. I pray that you would help us, each one of us, uh, to learn more about who you are, from our family, from our friends, 
but also from when we read the stories about you in the Bible, when we talk to you in our prayers. Jesus, would you reveal yourself to us? Help us to know more about who you are, what you are like, so we can say who you are to us. Thank you for being so close. Thank you for being so ready for us to talk to. And thank you for being with us this coming week. I ask for your blessing on everyone who's part of our kids' church, on all of our families. In your name. Amen. Thank you, Kids Church. Um, have a good week. Stay safe. Uh, enjoy the rest of the holidays before school starts again. Uh, and I will see you in Kids Corner again next week. God bless. <laughs>